Hey everyone, it's Phil from Ashton Leather and I'm back today with some more stuff to show you. Today we'll be going over some of the stuff we're shipping out today. I've got a nice selection of Giant the Foxes to go over. And at the end of the video, we're going to start the process for restoring those. As you can kind of see, they're a bit dirty. So we'll get to that at the end. Alright, let's go over through some of the stuff that we're shipping out today. And I wanted to show you this Black Shell Cordovan, Louis Little, New York. This might be the last time I show you this because it's currently on the flash sale. There are a couple left. And if you're looking to check out Shell Cordovan, you never checked it out before, it's sometimes hard to find Shell Cordovan at any price under several hundreds of dollars. So these are on sale right now for $70, I believe. So it's a really good opportunity to try out a minimalist card holder. And if you've never tried Shell Cordovan before, this might be a great chance for you to try out this really special leather. Uh, it's something that I think everybody should experience, and oftentimes, because of that price point, it's hard to get your hands on. So this is a good chance to check that out. So here's a Johnny the Fox in natural chromoxal that we're shipping today, and this one has that mock interior that I've been sort of raving about the last couple days. I'm really liking how the mock interior, which is a color name, and I believe it's a shortened word, or shortened meaning for moccasin, that's an old tannery color designation. So mock, all it is is this color. It's sort of a light tan, yellowy shade. And what I really like about it is it starts to set off just about anything you put with it. So last week I believe we had a, an intense blue shell cord of Johnny the Fox with this mock interior. And that mock interior basically sets off any color that you combine it with. And I really like what it's done with this natural chromebook cell as well. So something has sparked with me recently and it has to do with black shell cordovan. I'm not really sure what's going on with me, but I'm really getting into the black shell right now, especially with that Apple watch band yesterday. And this giant of the fox in black shell cordovan is just incredibly sleek looking. I, I think these shells coming out of the tannery right now are extra smooth and extra nice. And I, maybe it's not being captured properly in these videos, but man, they're just such a nice, sleek look. Uh, it kind of makes every curve of the wallet just look really awesome. Uh, so something's happening with me right now with the black shells. And this one has a black horsehide interior. So it's $100 less than the all shell cordovan. If you're looking to try these out, I actually like the horsehide interiors. Not only because you save $100, but also because it makes the wa a wallet more thin. And because when you have to pick those shells for the interior card pockets, of the Giant the Fox, it really bulks it up because you got all these layers of leather and the shell cordovan is much thicker than this horse hide. So that, for that reason, I like the horse hide interiors. This is a Giant the Fox in black all reverse. And I know it doesn't look black, it looks green. It's sort of really cool, like a very degree, like bronze that's been aged sort of color. Uh, so that's not black, obviously, but it it is the reverse side of the black because if you look at the wrong side or the unintended or the the intended side is the shell side it's black and then the reverse of the black is that green color and we get that color because all of the black dye used at the tannery is a greenish black and there's a pro part in the process where they dip the shells into water and the water just accumulates with the excess dyes in it so you start to see that accumulation show up on the wrong side of the leather from being dipped in the same barrel. And the longer that the barrel has been used with more pieces of shell being dipped into it, the darker green the color becomes. So you start to see more of these colors the longer that the run goes on. And I really, really like the reverse shell cordovan because of the random color and dye, sort of dye patterns on there. And on top of that, it has this really satisfying subtle luster. It's not overwhelmingly bright like a mirror, like the regular shell. But what's cool about it also is the more you wear it, the better this one gets, especially in the inside of a wallet because it, it does scuff and scratch itself. However, the reverse shells are more easily filled in and improved uh, even after being scuffed and scratched. This is a really beautiful Giant of the Fox in color eight shell cordovan that's been personalized. But check out how sweet the shell is. The shells right now out of the tannery, they're doing a really exceptional job over there because everything is so bright and smooth. The feel is really incredible on everything. It's just so smooth and nice. And this shell of the Fox has another reverse interior. However, this one is color eight reverse. 
and you can see it's obviously not color 8, it's more of a reddish tan color, and that's the same reason as on the black reverse, why we get the green. It's the same reason we get this tan shade on the color 8 reverse, is because the color 8 dyes migrate in that same water, and it's sort of a reddish tan shade. Alright, so over the next couple of days, I thought it would be fun to sort of upgrade and improve and clean shoes here. And these are in black chrome XL. You can see that I've worn these pretty well without doing much maintenance at all to them. Uh, they've actually accumulated quite a bit of dust on it. And I think that's because the chrome XL has a lot of oil, and it, I've noticed that the dust and dirt kind of sticks. Uh, to the Chrome Excel a little bit more, uh, but it should be easily cleaned off of here. So my plan is, over the next few days, in these daily videos, I'm gonna show you my process for how I would clean these up and give them a little repolish. It will take a couple days to do because I like to let them sit out overnight and dry. Um, so there will be multiple days for this process. But we'll get started today here. I'm gonna show you how I would clean these. But let me tell you a little bit about these first. Before we get to work cleaning these up, these are an unlined, unconstructed sort of moccasin chukka. And these are incredibly comfortable. What is unique about these is they have a leather sole. And this is a not exact variant on the Chrome XL leather. However, it is similar to the Chrome XL. It's a very dense leather that Horween makes, often found in heavy duty harness leather. Uh, and this is a leather called Chrome Pack. And it's a very thick, very dense, very strong leather on the bottoms, which makes these super, super comfortable. So I'm excited to clean these up because as you can see, they've got quite a bit of dirt on it. Uh, so the goal here is to clean these up, make them look basically as new as possible, get all the dirt off, and then we're gonna nourish the leather with a treatment of Tanner's Blend. But the first task we have to do today is to clean off some of this dirt. So let's begin. First thing I like to do just to make it a little easier to clean is to pull off these leather laces. And typically the first step to do for any boot that you want to clean is just to brush off all the loose dirt. And I'm remembering now as I see the loose dirt come off here, I'm remembering what all this was. This is actually all sand from the beach um, near my dad's house. My dad lives in Santa Cruz, California, so I like to wear these out there on the beach. And that seems to be a lot of what the loose dirt coming off here is. So you can see already at this point, we've taken off a good amount of the dirt. And for me, typically, I'm kind of lazy and I like to beat up my stuff anyway, so I might even leave it at this point. But uh, the brush I'm using is a very, uh, very much a coarse, uh, not dense bristle. Uh, so I'm going to do it again with a little bit more of a dense uh, brush. So you can see a lot of the dirt has come off onto the table and a lot of this again was sand from that beach I was on. The next step that I need to do is to clean it with a little bit of soap, soap and water. So what I've done here is I just have a tray or a lid from one of our uh, containers here at the workshop just to keep water from getting all over the place. And all I'm going to do is just take regular tap water with a little bit of dish soap, just a couple drops will do. And I'm just going to mix this up and give this good this boot a good little wash.
All right, so I went over this pretty quickly with some uh, mild soap here. You saw I put just a couple drops into this small cup of water. And it, you can already see, just by cleaning off the loose dirt, it's already a pretty dramatic difference. It almost looks gray uh, when I started off, and now we're getting some of that color back. Usually I wouldn't try to clean the soles very much, and I basically just tried to get rid of some of the loose dirt on there, and I'm noticing there's actually some big chunks of glass in the bottom of this. So I'm kind of glad I pulled some of that out. Uh, but I'm not really worried about the soles. So what's really important for the next step here is that we're going to let the, we're going to rinse this off. I'm going to take just another cup of water, get some of the soap off. And then it's going to be really important to let these dry overnight. And I'm not going to expedite the drying. These are going to be air dried. And that's very important uh, to keep uh, the integrity of the leather and with something like salt stains it's really important to let these air dry and then we'll come back tomorrow I'm gonna put some conditioner on here our Tanner's blend product and we're gonna really breathe the life back into these so definitely come back and check out tomorrow I'll be putting some Tanner's blend on these and we'll really start to see the life be brought back into these I'm really excited to see that tomorrow and hopefully I'll see you there too